Hello everyone, this is Rick. Um, I thought I would just take a video of my, one of my recent arrivals. Um, my Warhammer Fantasy Orcs and Goblins army painted for me by the kind folks at Blue Table Painting. And like my Empire Army overview video I did, uh, I'll just go ahead and zoom in on a couple units and go one at a time. So, we can come down here to the 50 Goblin unit here, armed with shields and spears. These were done to a level 3, or what Blue Table Painting refers to as a level 3. Some freehand there on the banner. And the whole army is done on the magnetized movement trays, <clears throat> which is nice because if you have a, um, models that can't quite get close together, the magnets keep them on the tray even if they're kind of um, overlapping a bit at the ends. <clears throat> and next we'll come over here. This is a 30 uh, black orc unit with full command. I'll see if I can get down on their level. These were done to a level four. That guy is getting knocked right in the mouth. <laughs> and some nice work on the banner there. <clears throat> and I just love these guys. I might take one off the back here. Maybe do a little close-up on him. <clears throat> So you can see, you know, the worn metal on their armor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some parts are kind of rusty. Other parts are just chipped. And then here is a Black Orc War Boss. Um, done to a level 5. You can just, I don't know if you can even tell in the video, but there's just some more embellishments done on him versus one of the regular Black Orcs. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we can come over here next to the Orc Boar Chariots. Um, these have a couple nice things about them in that, for example, um, each one has a crew of three, but the third Orc is magnetized so you, you can remove them and just have the standard load out of two if you want. Same with this guy here. And 
And then this is in, uh, this is an orc shaman or orc great shaman, whatever you want it to be. But I had it so that he's magnetized on his base so that he can be placed and magnetized into a chariot. Obviously that might be illegal, but you can just take him off and have that like that. Or of course he can just be on his own base and magnetized like that and be put into his own unit if you wanted him to. And I guess next we can come over here. Maybe I'll move these chariots out of the way and come down here. Some goblin wolf riders. And I requested that they be modeled with a couple of different things. Some just have the spears and shields. Some have bows and shields. Just to show that they, if you want, can have um, everything, really, all at once. Which is interesting. So those look nice. And there is a second unit of those also over here. <clears throat> so 20 of those total, and they each have their own trays. And I'll bring these bad boys up front. <clears throat> River Trolls, three of them. And in the pictures and videos, they look nice, but in person, they are really disgusting. Which is a good thing. And I love this oversized fishing hook. this guy next. The goblin big boss on a gigantic spider. So, like with my Empire Army, the reason that I chose the units and models that I did were purely aesthetic. Just models that I really enjoyed, not necessarily to build a competitive list, but just really nice uh, models. Here is a goblin um, that you can use as a battle standard bearer. I like the heads and the spiders on that. And then I got a few of the um, snotling. bases and so they're all just doing their own thing they're very characterful and so what I had done here is one on each base is stationary like this guy on this base but the rest are magnetized so 
each wound they take, I can actually remove one off the base. And that's the same with all of these. And ironically, that thing is heavier than, say, a tray of the Wolf Riders. Those are all still metal figures. <clears throat> and then we can take a look at a couple of these. Just some goblin shamans or goblin great shamans. Back here we have some goblin archers, a 20-man unit here with full command. And there's another 20-man unit back here. And here's a figure, I don't know if where you play, they if you've seen a Grom the Paunch figure in person, he's still a metal model. I just love the background on this guy. Apparently, uh, a bet gone wrong. He ate part of a troll, which keeps trying to regenerate inside of him, so he's so husky. Or something to that effect. Him and his chariot. Just a fun model. And now we can get to some of these siege weapons. Like this one, obviously, a rock lava. Um, and then each one of the crew is magnetic to be used as wound markers and then also um, the orc bully is optional magnetized and the only squig in the entire army is the one being stepped on there so at least I can say Squigs do have, although somewhat limited, a presence in this army. And then next is the Doom Diver catapult. Getting ready to take flight. Again, magnetized crew. and the one already mid-flight. And then of course this bad girl here, the Arachna Rock. With all the little goblins up top and the flinger which is optional. You can take that off if you want to save the points. And then also, there's this little goblin shaman here. And he is also magnetic. And you can stick him on top of the spider. The spider's a level four, and it looks pretty good.
So I think that about covers everything. In the army. Buildings and those single trees are done by Custom Kingdoms. And the Citadel Woods are actually assembled and painted also by Blue Table Painting. They also did a Citadel Realm of Battle game board for me, which looks awesome. So this was my latest Blue Table Painting project. You might recall my Empire Army, which is now on display in the glass cubes. And I implore you to watch that overview video if you haven't already. And next, um, Blue Table Painting is working on a Wood Elf army for me, comparable in size to this one, and my Empire army. And just from looking at the images of it in their studio updates, it looks pretty amazing. And that one shouldn't take too much longer to finish, and then I will certainly do another video like this. So, I appreciate you for watching this long, if you've withstood um, nearly 17 minutes of my voice and shaky camera work. So, if you made it this far, congratulations, and I thank you for watching. Until next time.